Hello everyone, and welcome to the New Gen Sci-Fi Slums Content Pack tutorial video. Before we get started, please make sure that you have both Gina Pro and the New Gen Sci-Fi Slums Pack by Reversed Interactive imported into your project. Without them, the pack will not work. Now let's get started. There are two main ways to use this pack, and today I'll show you both. The first is by using the block spawner, which we can find in Gina Spawners right here. The block spawner combines every single spawner in the pack into one easy to use spawner and just spawns a city block with a bunch of buildings inside. So let's see how we can do this. So we're going to create a cube, reset the transform, and set its size to 100 by 100. We're going to zoom out on that. Then we're going to go to the reverse interactive road material and this material is really good to use as a base for any spawner that you are using on a mesh as opposed to a terrain and by the way i am conducting this tutorial on meshes but you can use this pack with trains equally as well so we're going to simply control click and spawn this block and the block spawner really just integrates literally every single other spawner in in the pack and integrates them all into this one cohesive unit that you can use for quick city generation so i'm going to spawn a block there as well and even while that's spawning i can place this one down one starting now it's really cool to see the buildings go up um, and then see the insides get populated, which I'll sort of show you in a moment. Okay, so our spawner is nearly done here. It just needs to place around the edges. And there we go. We have spawned our little city here. And the first order of business that we're going to do is we're going to drag in our lighting object. For this pack, we have a lighting prefab, but it's important to note that if you're using anything other than the HDRP render pipeline, this prefab will not function correctly. So make sure you're using HDRP if you want to use this prefab. So just simply drag this into your scene and you can see everything is gonna freak out, but all you need to do is just delete your directional light and then toggle one of these off. We're gonna go for uh, nighttime first, so we're gonna to toggle day off. And this prefab just spawns, uh, uh, just has some volumetric fog, has light and a post process volume, uh, which is exclusive for both day and night. So now, if we look, we can see that we have this really cool, moody atmosphere. Um, and our blocks are fully populated. We got some scaffolding here for construction. We can go in, we have a market cans littered all over the floor, a few market stalls in here, lights going up which add a lot to the scene I find, and um, our sidewalks have procedurally generated decals on them, and randomized fences like this. Basically if you're wanting to generate a city quick with not too much control over um, the individual buildings, what they look like, and how your city blocks are oriented, this is what you should be using. Now, the other workflow that you can use, and let me just delete all of this off my cube here, and I will switch this to daytime. Uh, actually, I'm going to toggle this off altogether and just bring in a directional light because when you're developing the uh, volumetric fog can be pretty annoying. Okay, so the other way you can build out a city with this pack is by going and using each individual building spawner. So you've got a one by one, a two by two, a two by one, and an L shaped building spawner. And then a wide array of prop spawners, uh, such as the market stall, the dumpsters, trash, trash bags, and scaffolding. So what you're gonna wanna do for this type of workflow is take your individual buildings and then build out blocks from them. So we've got an L there, and we can 
um, sort of duplicate this sort of L like this. So if we get 180, place it like that. And then maybe in these pockets we can fit a one by one. Let's see. It'd be pretty tight alleys, but yeah, totally works. And there we go. We've got make a really tight cluster of buildings here, and maybe we can place a two by two spawner somewhere over here. A two by one here. And then maybe another two by two here. And then you can go in and get really precise with the dumpster spawners and the market stall spawners, which I'll show you now. So the dumpster spawners, as you might expect, they just spawn a couple trash bags and garbage around them. And you can place these wherever you want in your scene that fits. That one there, and then the market stall spawners are a little bit of a bigger spawner. You can place them like this across your scene, and again, they'll sort of have their own props all scattered around. Some electric wires, and these will spark, which is pretty cool. That's a lot of uh, ambiance and at the nighttime uh, moments. And then we have our pottery spawner, so this I really like as well. Clusters of pottery around trash bunch to accompany it and then you can also place trash bunches sort of scattered around to add even more to this section of your scene like a garbage can here and etc etc you can basically iterate and populate as much as you want with the spawners that we've provided and then simply retoggle your day night and right now, I'm going to switch it back to night because I think that one looks a lot better when you're down low like this. And there you go. We have a populated alley, a bunch of really tight buildings around. It's looking pretty good. So that is a brief overview on how to use the, the new gen sci-fi slums content pack. If you have any questions, please ask us on Canopy and we'll uh, be happy to help. I hope you enjoy the pack. See ya.